So on the left hand side of I am, there are the roles and roles are used to grant permissions to entities that you trust. And some of these are AWS services within your accounts. There is a greater extent to what roles can do, but from a certified cloud practitioner exam, you need to just know that it's helpful to grant other services access to AWS. So let's go ahead and create a role. So we're going to create a role right here. And this will be a role for an AWS service, but you can see you have other options that are out of scope right now. So this EC2 service can be a lot of things. As you can see, all these services in this UI can use roles. So you can create a role for pretty much everything. But a very common use case to create a role are EC2 instances and Lambda functions. EC2 instances are virtual servers and Lambda function just run code, but don't worry, we'll get to those when in we go in their respective sections. So let's use an EC2 instance. We're going to create an EC2 instance role. So I click on EC2 and then click on next permissions. And here we're able to say, what is our EC2 instance going to be able to do? And for example, I can attach a, permis a permission to my role and say, you can get IAM read only access to the role. I click on tags. We can tag this role, but we won't do so. Click on review and I'll create demo role for EC2. And that's it. I will go ahead and create the role. Now we won't be using this role just right now, but as you can see, the role is created under the role section. And if I click on this role, I can see it has the IM read only access permission. We'll get back to this role when we go into the EC2 section, which is the next section. I hope you like this lecture and I will see you in the next lecture.